So guys, welcome to vlog number one oh whoa. Two. No, vlog this is this is this is gonna be a vlog because it's your Christmas gift. Oh it's vlogmas. Yeah. So guys, welcome to three. Vlogmas day number three. So guys, welcome to <laughs> So guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day. Ah. So guys, welcome to Vlogmas, vlog number three, and we are going to get Andreas Christmas gift. You guys have no idea. Ooh, I got white real quick. No, it's not bad to be white. I'm just saying I don't want to be. I like being black. Um, Andrea is the hardest person in the world to go shopping for because she is cheap and she doesn't want anything. She is a. What? You mean I'm cheap? She buys China shit. That's all she buys is China shit for herself. Um, she is a great mother and she would much rather spend her money on her kids than on herself. Yeah. But I have a wife who spends her money on I just spit on you. I'm sorry I have a wife who spends her money on the kids so I can spend my money on the, my wife But she doesn't want that watch this. What do you want for Christmas Andrea? I have everything I need. Exactly who says that I have everything I want that's just I don't know Maybe she was abused as a kid. I don't know. Maybe she didn't get Christmas. Did you have Christmas as a kid? Yes, I did. And how many and how many gifts did you get? One. That's the problem. That's the problem right there. We had $50 we had a $50 limit. Okay. Why are you laughing? We was a lot of kids. That's so, a, I was the I only kid. I didn't grow up like my kids do, like they have no limits. Because I like spoiling my kids, but we was six, six kids. And everybody had $50. So finally, I talked Andrea into um, figuring out what she wanted for Christmas. And she wants a second cat for Milo. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go pick it up. It is only December 18th. But it's an early Christmas present for her. It's not even for me. See, that's the bullshit. See, that makes me so angry. It it's is for you. It's a Christmas gift for Milo. Now, see, that's what makes me angry. Because now she said that it's not for her. So why am I spending this money on this? No, honestly, you should explain why we're getting a second cat. You, are, you already explained that. I saw. No, we are getting a second cat because Milo, we don't want Milo to go crazy because we do a lot of travel vlogs and I'm at work and Andrea's going back to work. We do a lot of work. travel vlogs. Yeah. Or we do a lot of traveling. Well, the vlogs are a part of it, but... I do it for the vlog. Um, what? And Milo Wait, is... hold up. So you only travel with me to make a vlog? That's not true because no. we traveled before we made vlogs. We traveled before we made vlogs. Anyway, Milo will be alone a lot and I don't want him to get crazy and kill me while I'm asleep. So we're going to get him a friend. So let's go do that now. Andrea is crying now and I did not do it. Why are you crying? Because you're thick. What did I do? I didn't do nothing to you. I missed the accident. He tell me how dumb I am. Really? No, that's not true. That never happened to him. So we are here. Um, they live on the fourth floor of an apartment. So I'm not gonna take Olivia and Lorenzo. Ol who back there? Mia. Olivia and Mia. We're gonna wait, and you go get the cat, and don't take all day. Nope. I can find the entry from this house. Twenty minutes later. So guys, I got him. Um, yeah, he crying. He's different than Milo. He's scared. He was scared of me and he's crying his ass off right now. Poor kitty. So guys, Andrea is back. And how was it? Terrible. Why? You could tell it was like projects, right? Stop, Olivia. Let go, Olivia. Okay, what? It was the project. Yeah. And the female opened... The door? The door? Mm-hmm. And she had on a ripped shirt, like it was a big-ass hole in the shirt, and the first you smell when you came in this house was 
piss. And not a little bit like it was breathtaking. Then she told me that we have to stay up front of her dirty ass apartment because her kids are in the back having the pox. Chicken pox. And I'm like, okay. Good that my kids stayed in the car. Yeah, true, right? The whole house was destroyed, stinking, dirty. She was dirty. As I said, her shirt was ripped. And there was like 20 cats running around. And I'm like, oh wow, grown cats, baby cats, everything. And I'm like, oh wow, how many cats do you have? And she's like, I'm not sure right now, between like 19, 20 or 21. Yeah, no idea how many cats you okay. have. And y'all can hear him now. He's going crazy. But we're almost home. But before that, I and want some KFC. Looks, you say he stinks. He stinks. He smells like cigarettes, pee, and you can tell the difference between Milo, yeah. our cat, and him. Like he seems way too small for a cat. I had a second. I wanted not to take him because I saw there was a cat um, who lost the eye, and there was a cat like who was kind of crippled and stuff. So I started like having doubts. But he came running, and I, I feel so sorry. He was like, "Please help me." Please help me. Like he seems too skinny too, right? Yeah, way too skinny. So we're gonna go home and feed hopefully him. <laughs> feed, feed him. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, a new development has developed. Here's Andrea. Yeah, guys. Um, we're not taking him home right now. I wanted to take him back, but you all know me. I feel so sorry. Um, not only he's too skinny and he kind of look fucked up. Um, I was petting him on the side and he have a bad case of fleas. He's full with fleas. So we stop in at the vet. He have worms, he not in a good condition. So. Okay. They gave me the number from the veterinarian. Office veterinarian, yeah. To call because this is kind of animal abuse, what this lady is doing. Not kind of, it is. It is. And he get deworms now, he get fleas, something. Um, we also get that at for, for, Milo. for Milo. And yeah, he's not in the best condition. Yeah, the vet said now that she's glad that we're taking care of him and um, that he needs a lot of food and we have to come back in four weeks because he needs shots and another deworming and flea stuff and we should definitely come with Milo um, yeah but we don't need to be worried she think nothing gonna happen to Milo he got that flea thing too and she said it works during a few hours then the fleas are dead and um, yeah, he needs Bless you! <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Bless you. Sorry, thank you. He needs a lot of food now and um, I should call this vet office and they're definitely going to take all these cats out. Also the vet said that the only thing we should worry now till the next appointment is to get him stable because he's so underweight and too young that um, he's he not 12 unstable. weeks. He's not 12 weeks, he's not 14 weeks. She say he's between 8 and 9 weeks old. He should be with his mother. Yeah. So guys, um, I kept Casper. We named him Casper um, in here. I didn't bring him home yet because she said it takes a few hours till all the fleas are dead. Um, now it's dark outside. He keep eating and eating and eating, which I think is a good sign. Stay here, buddy. Casper. And um, I think it's time to drive home and 
Meet Milo, his big brother. Right, Casper? You ready? Before Casper meet anyone, um, I want to brush him and look if he really good now. But he's so cute. Oh my god. And he has so pretty eyes, right? Yeah, blue eyes. Mm. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, he ate his whole food. Okay, off it for a second. Guys, we just started brushing him and he just sits there the whole time. I think he likes it and he's so cute. Look from the front. Oh my god. He has so pretty eyes. Thank you. you so, welcome home, Casper. Yeah, Thank you. Hope. Next day. We just want to give you a little update on Casper, who is not Casper no more. Um, we figured out Casper is a little girl. So, yeah, since two days we think about a name, but we can't find the right name for her. Um, Lewis had Crystal, which fits her white, white coat and the stale blue eyes, but she's like a little devil. <laughs> she's not shy at all. She's loud and um, yeah, she eaten and eaten and eaten and eaten and she's doing pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. um, the fleas are dead. I found like, I don't know how many dead fleas around where she was laying. Um, they definitely dead and she and Milo got good friends, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you know... Um, Wait, was I in that vlog? What? Was I in a vlog? No. Uh, I need to be in every vlog. Then say something. They want to see me, right? Ah, my hair looks messed up. Okay, <laughs> they saw Sammy now too. <laughs> so yeah, they friends. She doing fine. She eating a lot, she sleeping a lot, playing a lot. Here we go. Hi Milo. And that's the nameless girl.